Hey everybody, how's it all going? So, the last video I mentioned that I needed to throw another 10 white LEDs in or so and uh, I did that and then I realized I needed another dozen at least. So, in addition to those 10, I also threw in another 8 this evening and that puts me up to a grand total, all lights so far, of 38. Now the interesting thing about this is that all these LEDs are about 20 milliamps. So 38 times 20 is 760 or so, somewhere in there. The power supply that I've got is rated at 750. So these may be a little bit dimmer than they should be, it's really tough to tell. And if I put any more in here, that should kill all the lights completely because I've gone over the ability to supply the power for them all. So with that in mind, I started digging around and I found another wall wart. This one is 5 volts, just like the current one, but it's 1,000 milliamps. So if uh, the power suddenly dies on this for me in the next couple days when I throw some more lights in, then all i got to do is step up to another's power supply, so I'm happy about that. Uh, like I said, there's 38 LEDs in here right now. Uh, I can definitely put at least one more orange and one more blue in the top, of course. i still got to do that. And overall, there are still some dead spots for the lights in here in the bottom. Uh, specifically, this little area here. This isn't so bright, and I definitely need one here. So even though these internal lights are aiming over here, it's not quite as bright as I would like. So, uh... I could put probably 50 in here, and with the 1000 milliamps at 20 milliamps, I should be able to put 50 in, 45 somewhere in there. So I'm definitely going to try and max this out, throw as many LEDs as the uh, juice will take, and we'll go from there. So one of the things you might be thinking is that 50 LEDs is kind of a lot for such a small model. What I was realizing as I was doing this is that if I had done fiber optics for all the holes, of which there are about 600, and each length of fiber optic was, say, 6 inches, including the throwaway that gets clipped off in the end, then uh, that's 600 times a half is 300 feet of fiber. So I did some pricing on that, and if I used all .75 millimeter like most of this is, that would have been 16, 18 bucks per 75 feet, call it 20 bucks, that's uh, 20, 40, 80 dollars worth of fiber optics to do all this and cram it all in the body, or at 10 cents per LED, uh, 50 times 10 cents is 5 bucks, somewhere in there, so the uh, math was pretty simple to determine in that regard, and there were no worries about that whatsoever, so... It looked like it was always going to be LEDs in here, no matter what I was really thinking. However, having a couple choice fiber optic colors is obviously the way to go. One of the downfalls of clipping all the fiber like I have is that it's not as bright. So, all these blues and oranges and this white over here is pretty obvious, but all the regular ones are not quite so obvious until it actually gets closed up, at which point it starts to shine, definitely. So you can see there's a bit of a dead spot in this area here. All the top here is looking good. I'm happy about that once all that gets fibered up. Could definitely use a couple more lights in here, I imagine. You can see I got a light leak here that I'm going to have to putty up, and I haven't done this neck for the bridge at all yet. So, uh, and back here, the unfortunate thing is that while I was hoping to keep this all magnetically sealed, there is some pretty serious light leak going all along this edge. So what I'm going to try and do is shave down some of this plastic because there are uh, grooves here. And if that's blocking things up, then it will definitely help to get rid of that. But most likely, I am going to have to need to seal up the back half. And I seal the back, I may as well do the rest of it. This side is looking nice and good all along the trench here. A little bit of a dead spot right in this area. All the top lights are definitely looking great. I'm happy about those. I haven't done any fiber on this side except for a strand or so. Uh, down here, there's really not going to be too many more changes. I tried. I have glued a single LED on the back side of this landing bay, hoping I'd get a little ambient glow. But the plastic is too thick, and the paint on there is also too thick to really let it show through. 
I may put a couple more holes in here if I can find a way to drill them. Uh, probably all along the front here and on the back. Those would be white fiber as well. I don't know if I can put any more uh, lights in these little side buildings here. Certainly if I can I will. They could use a little more dressing up. It's definitely top heavy on the lights so far. And once all of this goes in here and this front side gets all lit up, it's definitely going to be great. I haven't done the command bridge yet. And uh, that's coming up. No worries about that. Just uh, wiring up all the LEDs that I've done in the last few days is its probably an hour or so of just twisting wire and soldering. And that really gets tedious, especially when you're trying to strip the wire with your thumbnail. It just things start to wear down on you after not too long at all. So, I do believe that's pretty much going to be it for this update. It's definitely looking good. Once all the fiber comes in here, I think this is a really good indication of how things are going to go. Obviously, I've still got access here because I haven't glued that part on, but I will be gluing that on once I get all the fiber set up. It's definitely handy having open ports right now so I can gain access later on. And of course, having the magnets to hold it all together at this point is also a really great uh, handy thing as well. So up here I've got the six lights all pointing in towards the opposite sides to get the light going on. I can definitely throw a couple more in there and I think I probably will just to make sure it's got as much light as possible. Um, I'm thinking maybe that's probably it. I don't see too many other changes. But yeah, 50 LEDs could be the number. Like I said, we've got 38 going right now. And that is it for this update. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. See ya.